Welcome back guys to shapes.io with me, Massive Dynamic. I just wanted to show a hub delivery system that I created and honestly it took me longer to create the hub delivery system and to get it working than it did to build my entire MAM. I've played through the game again recently and built a new MAM which is right over here. It's kind of a little bit farther away from the hub than I would like it to be, but it's okay. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you how this delivery system works because I've looked at a lot of videos online looking for how they work. Everybody shows them off, but nobody shows how they work. So this is what I came up with. And here is the setup. Now I use this kind of, this kind of um, splitter system instead of the, what do you call these things? Storage system. Um, because I like it better it gives you kind of the combination of a delay um, along with the ability to dump everything into the hub so the way it works is I take the input from the hub here which is the the signal that the hub wants take it to a series of belt readers right here which is actually, okay, let me show you from here. This is where the shapes come in on the belt from here. I have three of these dumps here to make sure that the shape matches because I find that if initially, if you get shapes through that don't match, um, the first one will miss them. So three of them usually catches them. So I don't end up with any bad shapes in there. But anyway, once it gets to here, I run it through a splitter here, a four-way splitter, which takes the single input and splits it four ways. And then it sends it into each of these um, compressors, I guess is what they're called. So what this does is it takes the shape here and then um, this is a basically a binary splitter here. So it goes, there's a one, then two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512. So it takes 512 shapes to get to this point. And once that 512 shape comes down here and comes around here, that will give this the shape. And then once this shape matches the signal from the hub, then that gets a one here. So then I just check each of these four, there's four of them. So I check each of these with an and to make sure both of these have good shapes. And then both of these with an and to make sure these two both have good shapes. And then those go into an and here. And then I just use a lot of knot gates as a kind of a tick delay. Um, think uh, redstone. Each one of these is a tick. Um, so I just wanted, I just wanted to delay it just a little bit. So, um, so that goes into an AND gate. So now that means that all four of these have a good shape, and that goes into this AND gate. And this AND gate is actually reading from these belts right here. One, two, three, and four. It reads those belts, and when those have a good shape, they send the signal to also to AND gates, they get checked here. Here's one right here. This AND gate checks this belt and this belt, and that sends a signal through here. Now here comes the shapes, so we gotta move quick now. Um, and then all of these have, when the signal is no here, then the first place that the shapes go is out the reject system, and then they get recycled here. And the reason for the recycle system is that I found that if you don't have a recycle system, then your shapes will back up and they, they won't go to the hub, they'll just be stuck there. You'll end up with bad shapes stuck here. So I put it through this recycle system, which also checks the shape against the hub. And this is your final um, dump of bad shapes. So we're gonna see once this fills up. So we have a, let's see, we don't have a good signal here yet. So we're waiting for our shapes to fill up to this point, which is the 512. We have a good, um, signal here we have all of our shapes are backed up here which means we've got good shapes there now we're just waiting for them to get to this point and once they do that then we'll see this one will go positive with just a few seconds here looks like we're getting close and we're gonna watch it from this view okay that one almost went that one went this way so the next one that gets here should go and it should be real there it goes there and we got our good signal and there goes the dump so everything goes to the hub 
And then once we get our 16 per second, there we go, our shape's been identified. And we get a new shape signal in, which means that this unloads everything into the trash. So that clears everything for the next shape. Uh, so there you have it, guys. Hopefully that explains how it works. Simple enough. If not, leave me a comment and I'll try to break it down a little farther. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.